Hey guys, what's up? So this is part two of the Learn Command Line tutorial. And before we get to running the Python script, what I want to tell you guys is I want you to get comfortable with it. A lot of the times when people start in the command line, they think they're going to break something and they're going to hit CD so slowly and LS so slowly. I want you to get so used to it as if it's like you're just moving around the room by yourself, okay? Or moving around wherever. Just get comfortable with it. Feel it. So essentially, hit LS. You're not going to break anything. Hit CD. Hit tab like a million times. If it doesn't work, then you know do something. Hit tab. Hit CD again. Get back. So get used to hitting these commands because you want to go from these commands being memorized from a book and trying to just always memorize and be like, how do these people memorize these commands? to making it like a feeling and an intuition, okay? You're not gonna break anything, it's okay if you hit CD instead of PWD, nothing bad is gonna happen, okay? So let's, uh, so, so seriously, go practice that on this or your own computer, wherever, but just kinda have fun with it, get used to going around, then coming back home. Go deep in some directories and then come back home, you know, hit CD, it's your safe place. Uh, one more command I want to teach you guys right off the bat. This one took me a while to learn, but it was actually one of the most important. So what if I go forward and I kind of want to just undo one step and just go back one step. So let's say that um, I enter no Northern Meadow, but what I really meant to do was enter Western Forest, right? So I can go CD Northern Meadow, and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to go there. I want to just go back one step. So I can do CD and I can do dot dot. That means go one directory back. So I went one directory back and now I'm in the comfort of my own home, which is how it likes to state it. Now, let me show you guys how you can use the command line to learn or run the Python script. And as a matter of fact, after this, if you guys are going through my Python tutorial still, is only run the Python script like this, okay? How I am about to show you right now. Don't be using that idle stuff anymore. That stuff was good when you were picking it up, but now this is a better way to do it. So for example, okay, let's write a Python script and let's put it on the right-hand side and uh, we can just open up a new, new script here, okay? Example, or sorry, print. Hello, hi. Mm -hmm. Let's save it. And let's go ahead and save it in Clever Programmer, okay? Or actually, I have a better directory to save it here. Clever Programmer. Save it here, okay? And let's save it in Learn Command Line. All right, so I gave it the PY extension. Now I'm gonna open up my terminal. I'm going to put it on the right-hand side. That's how your workflow should actually look most of the times. So let me make this big too. All right, so on the left-hand side, I got my terminal, uh, or sorry, my Sublime text. You guys can download the software, it's free. Beautiful text editor. Write your code in there, and on the right hand side is where you'll run it. So, let me show you a practical application of using the command line. So, we're going to go home. So, I just hit CD, and now I want to go to where that file was. So, I think it was in my Dropbox. I'll hit ls again. I'll look around me what's there. I think GitHub should be around me. So, I'm going to go to GitHub. I'll look around again, and uh, Clever Programmer is right there. I can see it. So I'll do CD Clever Programmer, and then I will do CD Clever Programmer. Again, I keep using I keep using tab to autocomplete for me. Now I'm here, and I can see these directories. I just made learn underscore command line. I'll go CD learn. Whoops. Because there are two of them that start with this, it couldn't find it. So I'm going to do learn underscore C, and then hit tab, and it'll, I'll autocomplete it. And I can see that file right there, hello world under uh, hello world.py. So I will do Python hello world.py, okay? And let's run it. And you can see that it says hello. Well, if I wanted it to do for i in range one, I don't know, let's do 20 print i. Okay, let's go to the terminal. 
now we don't need to type in that whole command anymore. This is one of the very important features of the command line. You can actually, you don't have to type in Python hello world anymore. Just hit up and, and uh, hit enter. Okay, so you see that it's added, it added the new part of the code, so it's printing out from zero to 19. And just practice that a little bit. Hit up and enter, up and enter, up and enter, up and enter, okay? Kind of just get comfortable with that. So, you know, let's let's make a change here maybe. Let's uh, uh, print done, okay? And save. I'm gonna hit uh, Command Tab to switch to the terminal. Hit up and enter. Switch back, write more code, more code. Save, hit Command Tab or Alt Tab if you're on a Windows, hit up and enter, okay? So that's how that works. And the thing that I wanted to show you guys on Windows is basically just simply go and open up a new terminal, or sorry, a, t a new tab, and you can go git bash download. And for, for Windows, just download this software, okay? It's called git bash, and you should be able to download it pretty much from anywhere. I think download git for Windows, and then that's it. It started downloading automatically against my will, which is not cool. But um, you know, for you it might be helpful because if you have Windows, you don't have to hit any buttons. Whew. All right, guys. I hope you're starting to see the practicality, the pragmaticness, the awesomeness of the command line. And I'll see you in the next video.